Hello lovelies and welcome back to the interview show called About. Hey, you know what? I told you. We're just gonna keep it rolling and having amazing guests here. So the lovely one that is sitting to my left is Amy DeCarlo. She owns this lovely store boutique that's called Artemis. And so yes, go ahead and Google it. How you doing? I'm doing great. How are you? I'm good. Right. I'm, I'm so glad that you came over. We wanted to make sure to have you on the show because you know, we uh, we met at TFI's yes. new labels. Yeah. And I compliment you on this beautiful necklace that you had. Thank you. Yes, it was absolutely fantastic. And so you let me in on a little secret that you have, you are the, the fashion stylist, owner, manager of Artemis. And it carries these high fashion boutique items, I mean, extraordinary jewelry, yes. extraordinary. And you know, I, I got on the website, oh, saw, awesome. your, saw your Vimeo uh, yes. reel and the store is amazing. And it's in Thank my you. stomping ground. <laughs> and what bridge? Hi. <laughs> yes, I am. I definitely am. So what got you started on just like, you know, I'm going to do jewelry? Well, it's just, you know, it started with my mom. That was, ah. yes, that's what it started. I was sort of um, in between careers. I okay. was in broadcasting before and mm -hmm. then I was managing a spa. But fashion was always my passion. So she came to me one day, she's like, you know, Amy, I would love to open up a fashion jewelry store. I was like, I'm on it. Wow. So we started about five years ago. We opened that store together. Um, in the meantime, I went to fashion school. Mm -hmm. I got, you know, learned everything about fashion and it's just blossomed. We have over probably 60 designers now from wow. all over the world. We, we do support our Canadian designers. Mm -hmm. We love our Canadian that's, designers. That's always a good yes. thing. And, um, but we also have designers from Italy, from the Middle East, mm -hmm. phenomenal designers from the Middle East, from New York, from just about everywhere. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Now, is so. this one of your pieces also that you're yes, wearing? Yes, this is one of my pieces. This wow. is, um, it's all Swarovski. Uh -huh. Most of our jewelry is Swarovski. It's high okay. end. Um, and this piece is from a New York designer called Jimmy Crystal, who's huge in New York City. Wow. So we brought a lot of his items. That's and, great. Yes. You take care of all of the pieces that you actually you sell. So you have any difficulties or something breaks on a class, you guys do the repair right there. We do. And that's a huge service to our customers. Yeah because you know it happens jewelry is is fragile mm -hmm. so you have to take care of it and especially Swarovski crystal mm -hmm. customers are concerned will a crystal fall out yeah. you know it might happen so we do since we deal with all high-end designers yeah. we will take it in and we will send it to them and they have no problems fixing wow. it for you yeah that's they care about their their items you know it's their babies that's so true. yeah so they want, want to keep their name you know yeah, 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 cause you, I mean, whatever that you're gonna be putting out, especially like, you know, my baby, the yeah. show, you know, I have to make sure you that you know, it, has, it has to be on that perfection level, and exactly. that makes total sense. This store is named Artemis. Now, can you give us a little back, I know, yes. but it's like a little bit of background <laughs> of why you chose that name, and yes. what does it mean to, to the boutique? Well, Artemis, I've always had this fas fascination with Greek culture mm -hmm. and the mythology, because I studied it, and. Yeah. Artemis to me was such a powerful goddess. Yes. She was the goddess of the hunt and the mm -hmm. wild. And anybody who knows me and anybody who comes into Artemis will know my fascination with animal prints. Oh. I love animal prints. Yeah. Zebra, leopard, you name it. We've got it. Oh, wow. So we've actually commissioned our designers to create jewelry mm -hmm. with Swarovski crystals. In, in leopard print or zebra print. So you can wow. get a knock, you know, big sparkly ring, Swarovski uh -huh. crystal in a zebra print or earrings nice. done in a leopard print. So it's just a part of our DNA mm -hmm. at Artemis. And even our tissue paper is all zebra print. So it's like just our little <laughs> touch of Artemis. That's nice. Yeah. <laughs> how, do you, how do you deal with that element of balancing, you know, the, the store and making sure that the, you know, the customers are okay and the designers are okay? How do you do that? Well, it all comes from a place of care, really. Mm -hmm. So when a customer comes in, we truly care about that customer. It goes to the point where if we have a, if we're dealing with a bride, mm -hmm. 
we want to see pictures of that bride after the wedding because okay. we follow their journey, right? So it truly comes from a place of we care about this customer and we, we feel responsible. So we don't want that customer leaving thinking, do I look good? Did they, did they just sell this to me because they wanted to sell it? No way. Yeah. We've got customers bringing in their dresses, their outfits, Ow. their gala outfits, or mm -hmm. just even their casual clothes and asking, how do I put this all together? And that's a big help. It is a big you know, help. Because I mean, even though a lot of people are just like, oh, well, you're a model. Yeah. You're supposed to know about that? I don't know <laughs> nothing about that. I'm just like, put it on, walk, walk, and then take it off. Yeah. So I mean, it's, it's, it's very difficult sometimes for, you know, just the layman to match up a quality, you know, pair of earrings with their gown that they're going to wear because it has to match up. I it mean, does. I've seen some pieces that are just kind of mismatch. Yeah. And you're like, yeah. Oh gosh, I wish I had somebody to help them. Yeah, you know? just a bit of direction. You know, mm -hmm. that's that's what we deal with on a daily basis. So, you know, if you're busy, you have no time, you just run in for, mm -hmm. you know, 20 minutes, it takes a little bit of help to get yeah. it right. That's how I got into styling, ah, right? Because customers okay. would come in and say, hey, Amy, you know, I really loved what you chose for me. Do you mind coming to my house? I've got this party to go to mm -hmm. and I will. We'll set up an appointment, I'll awesome. go to their home or if they like, they can come in after hours. It's really tailored to the customer. That's awesome. Yeah. That's awesome. Yes. Yeah. And an opportunity to actually support homegrown business. Yes. Yes. I mean, I'm, I'm a big supporter in that. I mean, because it, no one's going to be, you know, those big ones like Vivian Westwood or, you know, Karl Lagerfeld. If someone's not going to be, you know, up the street, yeah. Say, hey, you know what? You need to go check out Amy's stuff and go up there. So, you got it. Yeah. Awesome. <laughs> okay. So. I'm going to ask you your lovely puppy dog question. Now, okay. Like my lovelies, they know me that, you know, I like to pick everyone's <laughs> brain and ask some really oddball questions. <laughs> but it gets an opportunity for them to know you better. And so that they know that it's just, you know, we're hanging out, get to know, and this is, you know, a, a good opportunity to see how you think. So you've had broadcasting, you know, background too. Yes. Now, I always have have put it into my mind, you know, from, you know, Walter Cronkite and, you know, um, even with um, Barbara Walters, that that mind is a superpower, mm -hmm. you know, to be able to do it. So, hmm. what superpower would you like to have and why? Ooh, <laughs> superpower. <laughs> I would love to be invisible. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Why? <laughs> you know why? I would love to be invisible because sometimes I'm my my profession is all about image. Yes. So mm -hmm. sometimes first actually all the time first impressions are what count. That's true. But sometimes they just get in the way of connecting with the real person. That makes sense. You know, so if I were invisible, I would love to just see how someone in a first impression connects with me. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that would that's be my good. take on it. Ah, that's it's an <laughs> answer I was even expected. That's great. Okay, so opportunity to get to know me. Yeah. It's like so you get to have the opportunity to be the host. So oh you get yay! To ask me a pondering question, but okay. of course only one, only one. and tread lightly. <laughs> like I said, <laughs> on fire, hot pepper. <laughs> <laughs> but yes, yes. Okay. So. What would you like to know about Lil Obi? Well, I would like to know, because fashion is so exciting to me, mm -hmm. I would love to know what you have in your closet right now that is the most exciting piece that you just can't wait to put on. It could be an accessory or a piece mm -hmm. of clothing. Exciting. Mm-hmm. Wow. The accessory I have that it's, it's a staple and I'm always wanting to wear it because it does a representation of where I want to go is this little simple the star. Star. Oh. That's it. That's that simple star. I wear it usually. I'm, I'm always wearing it for every broadcast and um, whatever you know funds that you know functions that I have to go to or anything like that. It's usually on me somewhere. And really? why is because. Prince has a song from Purple Rain. It's like, baby, I'm Love a Prince. star. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so that's like my theme song for Love it. And, and if I'm having that in my head and I have it here close to my heart, yeah. I'm going to achieve it. 
I love that. So I love yeah, that. That's what I, I mean. That's the thing. I'm. I have to have it. Well, thank you. I really appreciate this. Like showing me your broadcasting chops. That's a very good question. And lovelies, definitely, you have to go out and check Artemis. You gotta go. It's uh, Western Road and Langstaff over in Toronto, which actually it's in Woodbridge. <laughs> check out Amy. Amy's here to help you, and she's going to make you look fabulous. So oh, yeah. thank you again. Thank you. And thank you, lovelies, once again for checking me out and my lovely family of guests. And once again, make sure you take good care of yourselves. And I will see you out and about. <laughs>